Welcome to the Prayer Motivator with Daniel White III as he encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Good morning. Our Prayer Motivator quote for today is from Oswald Chambers, a great Scottish minister of yesteryear. He said these words, The battle of prayer is against two things in the earthlies. Number one, wandering thoughts. Number two, a lack of intimacy with God's character as revealed in his word. Neither can be cured at once, but they can be cured by discipline. Our prayer motivator verse for today is Psalm 25, 1, which says, Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Now, friend of mine, please pray with me the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, at this time, I'm going to pray for some people who have accepted Jesus Christ in their hearts or recommitted their lives to Jesus Christ through our online ministry, Gospel Light Society. We will also be praying over the requests of those who have submitted prayer requests online. Please join me in prayer. Holy Father God, we pray for the following people who have accepted you into their hearts. We pray, Lord, that you would confirm them in the faith, that you would strengthen them in the faith, and have them to grow in the faith to become the spirit-filled Christians that you want them to be. We pray specifically by name for Tina Womack in Ohio, Deborah Salinas in Chile, Veronica in Peru, Jessica in Honduras, Edward in Ghana, Elizabeth in Indonesia, Oni Paramitha in Indonesia, Celia Ada Franco in Peru, Maria in uh, Punta Arenas, Melda in Indonesia. Lord, we pray that you would uh, encourage these new Christians in the faith. We also pray now, Holy Father God, for uh, the following people who have recommitted their lives to you. We pray specifically by name for Zomera de Tama in Puerto Rico, Judy Varilla in Japan, Yilda Gonzalez in Paraguay, Obed Lolomo Lami in Ghana, Andres Avindano in Colombia, Ange, uh, we also pray for Alfred Mazzoni in Argentina, we pray for Rosalia Martinez in Mexico, we pray for Mario in Indonesia, and we pray for Evelyn in the United Kingdom. Lord, we pray now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for those who have sent in specific requests for prayer. Lord, we pray for Jamie. We pray uh, for you, Lord, to lead her and her husband regarding where to send their daughter to school. We pray that you'll give her husband a job and help them to make wise financial decisions. And Holy Father God, we pray also for Deborah Moten. Please direct her son, uh, Charlton's path, and, uh, and have him to follow you. Please give Deborah the strength to continue to do all that she can for uh, him as well. 
Lord, we pray for Christine Truitt. We pray for the doctors to have wisdom uh, to make the right follow-up treatment decision for her sister Yvette's uh, breast cancer. And we pray that you'll have that to go well. Lord, we also pray for F. Counts. We pray for him to totally yield himself to you and for him to receive the health and energy to do the work that you have for him to do. Uh, Lord, we pray that you do a work in each of the lives of her nieces uh, as well. And Lord, we also pray for Elizabeth Avasanya. We pray for her and her film projects, leaflets, and for her son and daughter, Stephen and Michaela. Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for Linda Frazier. We pray for her to receive a financial blessing. Uh, to help in her everyday responsibilities. And Lord, we also pray today for Dean L. Intervene. We pray that uh, you would intervene in the relationship between him and his wife and have her heart change so that she can love, care, and trust her husband in everything again. Holy Father God, we pray for Tanea Wade. We pray for her to find housing, employment, and school for her children, and for her to stay tuned into you and to trust you in all situations. And we pray for her and Jonathan uh, Toms to become one in you and for their uh, move to be safe. We pray, Lord, for her to have strength, consistency, faith, and trust in you, and for you to work things out for her, her daughter, and her father as a family. We pray, Lord, for Donna. We pray for things to work out between her and her husband and for her son to be protected in the army. Lord, we pray for Olivia Mensa. Please use her in your work for you in these last and evil days. And Lord, we pray for all of these uh, whom we have mentioned in prayer today that you would strengthen them uh, in the faith, lead them, guide them, direct them in the path and in the way that you would have them to go. And Lord, we pray that you'll meet every specific need in their lives according to your will in these last days. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake, amen. Now remember, dear friend, on this uh, Friday morning, these words throughout this weekend. Pray, think, do. May God bless you. Thank you for listening to the Prayer Motivator with Daniel White III. If you would like for us to pray for you, please send your prayer request to gls at gospelightsociety.com. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on bcnnradio7.com, buzzsprout.com, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and Live 365. Tell your friends and family to tune in and discover the power of prayer. God bless.